as we know, as we know, you Jackson got fired yesterday. Now he did have an interview. First words he said since he uh, got fired. Yeah, I had to drive today, man. It was, it's 28 degrees in New Jersey. So I had to drive. I'm trying to do, film some of the video with these traffic lights. Uh, you know, Corner Sports Net is totally different when it comes to these videos, you know. I just got to do what I got to do. All right, so you, Jackson, you, Jackson, he thanked everybody. All the donors, uh, Gramlin for giving them a job. The AD, everybody that's affiliated with Gramlin, he thanked them for the opportunity. Uh, he was saying that he came to Gramlin to build championships. He didn't think... Uh, he would be judged and lose his job after two years because he, he's trying to do everything right by the book. He said, of course, uh, during some games, some goal line stands, things of that nature, he would do things a little differently. But he said, you got young football players not used to being in that position, so sometimes they can't execute. He kind of put it on the players. He also said, I would tell any coach that comes to an HBCU, make sure the resources are available. Are available. He said, make sure the resources in place, giving you a, a a leg up. He says, when you go to HBCU, you're not just a football coach. I mean, you're dealing with stuff off the field. Heck, you're dealing with making sure the kids got the proper nutrition. You're dealing with a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with football as far as on the field. He says the Power Fives, they don't, they got everything in place. And HBCUs is a little different. He also said, look, I'm gonna continue to coach. This is what I do. It's been my livelihood and what I've done all my life is coach. I'm not going anywhere be coaching somewhere else. Jackson also said that, man, I got knew a couple of guys on my staff, but I had to take recommendations as far as coaches. He said that what the uh, board and the schools got to realize, if you want to compete and you want some of the best talent as far as coaches, you got to pay. You got to pay. Now, I'm watching this interview and they talk about why don't you Jackson take less money. He's like, man, it don't work like that. He said, head, head coaches, their salaries come from a different pool than assistant coaches. Also, basically, he wanted to say, come on, man. This little bit of money I'm making at um, Grambling? Nah, ain't nobody taking no shorts. We ain't taking no, we ain't taking no losses as far as our salary. 400000 Come on, assistant coaches make that at Power Vibes. It's not a lot of money. The problem with the HBCUs, they scream they don't have enough money to compete. As far as um, facilities, as far as getting the best coaches. So that's why they're HBCU. They're not trying to get on no Power 5 level at all. This is why you got you Jackson. He don't know nobody in his coaching staff except for about two coaches. And he can't bring in guys because guys are not going to work for two hundred thousand dollars or one hundred and ninety thousand dollars to be assistant coach. It's not happening. Not the NFL guys. Now, you Jackson was asked, "What's the biggest resource you could have?" He said, "Nutrition." He said, "During camp, kids eat for breakfast and lunch and dinner, but after that." They live off campus. They don't want to spend their money at a dining hall because it has to go to different things. The fact that we talk about nutrition in 2023, something is definitely wrong.